last time on the Bolivia World Cup journey. So first game of the World Cup, what can we do? In we go, come on Bolivia, let's show the world what we are made of. Get off your seat, get out of bed and stand for the national anthem of Bolivia. Keeper comes up, commits himself, doesn't get there, and it's 1 0 to Bolivia. Go 2 0 up. Boom. Yago Bello with the goal. 73 overall striker. You'll see the goal better here, but some very, very corrupted footage. Daniel Perez, so many Ezes, as I've just said, it's really annoying me. Sergio Kamara, not an Ez, but he can hit a ball. He can fucking hit a ball, can't he? 3 0. Surely we're out of sight now. Hey guys! Ollie here, welcome to episode 2 of the Bolivia World Cup journey in 2022. So in the last episode, we first game against Turkey, which we won 3-0. And now we're going to have a look at um, the Italian team we're coming up against now. As you see, they're all above 80 overall. So this is going to be a challenge. They're going to be a lot stronger than Turkey. Look, their lowest rated player is the um, 80 rated left back. They've got like, Marco Verratti, 89. Matthias Perrin in goal is an 86. It's going to be hard to get past him. But we're going to make one change to our side. It's going to be um, Juan Morientes coming in for um, Martin Miguel because I just wanted to rest him up because he did, did seem quite tired. My um, style of play is quite a high press kind of style. So that's to be, to be expected. I'm going to have to rotate this team around like Roy Hodgson did. But you saw what happened there when you couldn't beat Slovakia with a supposedly second string team, even though it wasn't like second string. It was actually quite strong. But. We move on and into the first game against Italy. And not after very long, we actually create our first chance. See, um, the ball's played through, and Matthias Perrin is on guard to save it. Then we pass it back to um, Juan Morentes coming in for um, Miguel in midfield, and it's shot. It's an unlucky one, just trickles wide of the post. Perrin may have had it covered, I'm not sure. But that's a early sight for us, as um, in the 11th minute, Maxi Menez wins the ball too quick, too strong for us, you know, as a. He's not content with just getting the ball and passing it off. He's going to go and run the pitch himself. He's going to run the whole pitch. Goes go, go down the line. Cuts inside two players. Goes in behind another one. And Perrin makes an absolutely incredible stop at his near post. As we get a chance here with Daniel Perez. But Perrin manages to tip it over in acrobatic style. So that's unlucky. But again, we are on top against a very strong Italian side right now. So I've, I've got a really good feeling about this game. As we go into half time now at nil nil, and I, I, I would take this. I, I would have taken a draw to start off, but I wouldn't take a draw now. I think we can go on and maybe get um, all three points. So I can't see why not. So we're going to go into the second half and see what we can do. So it is Italy down the right hand side. We get the first chance of the game as Miguel is called upon for the first time, as I've just said, to tip that one wide of his left hand post. And it comes up, comes up this corner and punches it away for safety. And that's the end of that attack for Italy. So, 63 minutes, going to make some changes. It's going to be um, Bello to come off for Campos. Um, so I feel it was just a fresh fresh pair of legs up front. I'm um, going to bring on um, Vialba. Also going to bring on um, Martinez as well. So that's going to be our three changes. They're probably our three strongest subs, to be honest. So... Not long from the end, Italy to do again until so another chance clipped in. Juan Guerra blocks the first one, but he is so radio, some heroic defending, get himself away that shot, and the chance is gone for Italy. As Miguel comes out once again, was carbon copy of that first one, just punching it away, and this is very sketchy. I've, I didn't know why I did it, I think dropped the ball, but luckily we managed to just play it out. And it ends 0 0, so uh, that's not ideal for us. I, well, it kind of is, kind of isn't, I think. I think Italy have a better goal difference, so they will win the group, probably, unless we come up, 
come up against New Zealand and put ourselves an absolute, an absolute whipper of a result in and smash them like 5 0, which probably won't do. We're going to make a few changes here. Um, Haas is going to get a rest. Um, Kiroga, 71 overall, is going to get a game. Um, Gamar is going to get a rest for um, Vialba. And that's about it, I think. Daniel Perez, I think he's. I'm not going to risk it. I think if it, it's about 60 minutes and we're way up. And we're way up in the game. I think I, I will probably take him off and bring on um, Campos up front. So that's um, us. You and New Zealand have a very weak team. I recognise Winston Reid and Marco Rojas. Apart from that, I knew no one. But if they wanted to know what they're in for this game, Eugenio Vera showed him within three minutes. They must been thinking right now, what are we, what are we put ourselves in for? With three minutes gone, we smash one from about 25 yards over Marinovic in the New Zealand goal. And we make it 1-0. And right now I hope the floodgates would open. And unfortunately for us, they didn't. We almost um, did um, with um, Ruben Cardena playing it through to Vera, but tried to do too much to around the keeper. But the keeper, did, but, but the keeper didn't buy the dummy and... It went out for a call. And it's their first, it's the first real attack of the game. Um, haven't been threatened all game, but... And it's played through, but the shot's blocked and it is a corner to New Zealand. Now, I've been testing a corner so far. And I'm made to pay here. New Zealand against all the odds. Make it one all. That is shocking. Absolutely abysmal defending. Miguel came for it, got nowhere near it. I don't know who's going to be marking him. There seems to be no one within about five yards of him, really. If you watch it again, look. Swings it in. It's a decent corner, to be fair, but... Miguel's nowhere near it. No one else anywhere near it. And that really annoyed me, because... I feel... that That's a slack, you know, and now we've... And now... New Zealand have the, have the momentum, and I think right now we needed half-time to regroup. Get back in, and Italy are winning 2-1 against Turkey, I think, so we need to get a few goals. And at half-time, it was 1-1, New Zealand on course to get their first points of this group stage. But, not for long, as Perez forces a magnificent save out of um, Marinovic. Great save down, down to his right-hand side. But, that didn't last for long, as Jagabello, the other striker, takes it 2-1 from the corner. No one closes him down, and he slots it away. He's, he's taken this competition by a scruff of his neck, Iago Bello, I'll tell you that. Daniel Perez has been a bit disappointing. Yeah, he hasn't scored at, um, Daniel Perez, but he's 84 rated. 11 ratings lower, Iago Bello's gone and got himself two already. So he's clean kick off, and then he made to eat my words about the Daniel Perez, but he does in fact hit the post. So unlucky. I'm going to make a few changes now. Um, it's going to be... Perez will come off, because I feel, I'm not sure how long we have to wait until our round 16 game. We're in here too, the tall midfielder, Martin Miguel, does a nice, nice bit of skill and puts it in the top bins to make it 3-1, and that's surely us out of sight. I can't see New Zealand coming back from this. They haven't really had another chance apart from the, the goal they actually scored from the corner. That's probably their only threat and set pieces, but they've seen a very poor side, couldn't keep the ball very well, couldn't defend very well. Uh, Bolivia fans are loving it. They're going to see their side like, go through the round of 16. To be fair, six years ago, eight years ago, New Zealand and Bolivia were in a tight game. And it was for about 10 minutes. But we've now taken the authority in this game as Gamara cuts inside and he makes it 4 1. And that's his second goal as well for Sebastian Gamara. Very happy for him. The only real player in the side. Hopefully that will be enough. If the Italy game stays as it is, we will top the group and get an easy draw in um, in the round of 16. But that is it. We'll have to see what, what Italy, Italy do now. We have done our job. We've beat New Zealand by four goals to one. Italy won 3-1, so we're literally level. We're literally level as Italy topped the group. Well, that kind of sucks, but... Thanks for guy. Thanks so much for smashing 10 likes. That was really appreciated. But that's going to be it for episode 2 of the Bolivia World Cup journey. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time for another video. Have a good day.